Are you ready to have the most powerful LinkedIn? It's 2023 and your profile has to rock. You are the authority. So check out this video right now and I'll show you how to do it. Welcome to The Millionaire Recruiter. I'm Brianna Rainey, your Millionaire Recruiter. And if you have not seen this channel before, yep, it's all about making you the next Millionaire Recruiter. So let's get to it. So today we are gonna have a really fun share screen. First of all, I think all share screens are fun. So I'll see you on that side. Uh, but I'm gonna go over my LinkedIn profile. And what I thought was really fun is when I did this is I found a lot of errors. <laughs> so I found a lot of areas of opportunity that I too can really harness and put through because LinkedIn makes changes all the time. So it's really crucial to see what they like to feature and what they get kind of tired on. So when they're building out features and like, let's just say they haven't, like it hasn't picked up for them, they definitely then put profiles forward that do those certain things that they want the users to do. So you have to really stay on top of trends. And then also something to think about, Let's not forget mobile folks, because for whatever reason, LinkedIn decides that mobile needs to have different things than desktop. Drives me bonkers, but I'm gonna talk about it in the share screen. So hope you like it. And uh, don't forget that I'll see you every Thursday at noon. See you on the flip side. All right, welcome to a great share screen on how to make the most powerful LinkedIn in 2023. So I do this video every single year because I think it's super important to talk about. Also because LinkedIn does tons of updates every single year. Now I am sharing on the desktop, but I will tell you there's a lot of very powerful tools that you can use for your profile to be noticed on your mobile. Um, 80% of all interactions on LinkedIn is via mobile. So they naturally have things that you can do on there that you can't do on desktop. So do not forget to also do things on your mobile. First things first, right? We always talk about photo, get a photo that really represents you. You don't need to do it, spend money to get it professionally done. I mean, nowadays we can just use our phones. Um, you got your friend take a picture of you, but definitely have something that represents your personality and your professionalism because that's super important. You really need that blend. Um, we're going to talk about that throughout the entire thing because trend is hard skills out, soft skills in. Now, I'm not crazy. I don't, I'm not saying that you don't need hard skills to do lots of different jobs. I mean, you definitely have to showcase that as well, but I would say that a lot of companies are really looking for, you know, what are your soft skills that could, you could use for the current role they're trying to fill. But then also, do you even know how to have your transferable skills highlighted in the new job that you want? Super important. So here again, you're just going to put your photo. You can do your LinkedIn background here. There's lots of really cool ones that you can grab from. This is super interchangeable. Um, now what's great. I like is the pronouns next to your name. It's also with trend. Um, but this area right here, you can now have like up to 120 characters on it. And so I'm actually pondering about changing mine up because I think I want it to be more data focused. Uh, that's also really important to me. I, because what people should do is when they're searching for you and depending on what level of LinkedIn they have depends on what they can see, you know, again, either on their desktop or mobile, we want it them. They, we want them to click on our profile and have no doubt what you do, what you specialize in. So here I have recruiting to my DNA. I'm a CEO advisor, mom, world's best wing woman. That's my personal thing. I've had that on there since I've started recruiting. I'm not taking it off. Um, and then proud to have a certified woman owned business. Now, here's the thing. Am I proud? Yes. Is it getting me business? Maybe not. I wish it would, um, but I don't think that that's what it's doing. So what I want to put in here is really like, hey, um, my firm specializes in tech recruiting or I've specialized in tech recruiting. We've helped fill thousands of roles throughout the years in sexy tech. I'm the world's best wing woman, CEO, advisor, mom, probably changes something like that. Uh, but here's what something that's really cool talks about training, recruiter, career coaching, recruiter training, and motivational speaker. Um, these are all essentially what I enjoy talking about, what you should come to me for. And this is in a new section in creator mode. I'm going to like scroll down here because it's not <laughs> like not super easy. Oh, here we go. Um, it's under resources. 
and it's under creative mode and it's very simple on how you can add them, you can have, have up to five. Now, since we're here and I see the analytics, this is also super important. And I know people use LinkedIn for all different reasons, depending on, you know, what your journey you're going through, through your career. So you want to know, Hey, does my post matter? Like, are people actually looking at them? Are they sharing them? Um, how many followers do I have? Are they going up here? Let's just click on this for a second, because it does actually tell you when you have new people following you or when you have new connections, right? And so that's really cool because now you can say, oh my God, what was I doing on Monday? Hmm. Now, obviously the weekend's pretty low. So this also helps you decide when you're gonna send your connection requests because you'll see when people are the most active. Now you wanna see the most demographics. I have 8.8% .8 of software engineers and I got recruiter, founder, technical recruiter, engineering manager. That's what they're coming to my profile for. Now I see a problem here, right? I'm not a software engineer. So why are people coming to my profile? I'm assuming that it's recruiters coming to my profile because I have a lot of keywords on that other engineers would also have. So now I'm thinking, all right, I need to switch that up a little bit more. Recruiter and tech recruiter are spot on, same with founder, but I'm gonna have to like change that up a little bit. Okay, um, now profile views. This is something that not a lot of people pay attention to, but it's very, very important. So not only does it shows you how many times your profiles are viewed, again, all throughout the week, you can have some trends there, or you can say, wait, why am I down here, but I was super high up here? What did I do at that moment in time? You really have to pay attention to what you're posting, when you're posting it, and then what kind of content you're posting. Even more so, and I won't bore you with this, but you can see who's been checking you out, right? So if you're doing biz dev, or if you're trying to get, um, candidates, you can very well look to see like, Hey, did they even see my message? Because that's what sucks. Sometimes what sucks is that you just don't know is my message is going anywhere. Or are they going into the black hole of death? Right? So definitely stay on top of this. Right. And, and then obviously if they are looking at you, but they didn't send you a message back, you're definitely connecting with them. And you're definitely shooting them another message. Now you're not going to say, I saw you were checking out my profile. <laughs> you're just going to let the universe play this game. So, you know, um, I also have software to know, Hey, did someone read my email? Great software, by the way. Um, and so that too, is if they read it, but they didn't get back to me. My question is, did I not have what they wanted? Did they forget and not have time to get back to me? What was it? Right? So naturally I'm going to be like, Hey, I was just thinking about you. Just wanted to try one last time or, you know, whatever your message is, is trying to come across. And many, most often than not, people are going to be like, oh my God, I was just thinking about you. I cannot believe you just reached out. It must be fate, right? It must be the universe. <laughs> so you definitely have to make sure that um, you use those tools to the best of your ability, which is in these profile views. Now, here we have search appearances. This is really, really important. It's important for a few different things. Come on, LinkedIn. Why aren't you working? Let's see. I got to show you this. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not showing you this today. So this is how often you appear in searches, but what I wanted you to see and what you could easily um, show, and I'm just going to go back to show you how I did it. I was under the analytics and I'm in search appearances. Normally what it's supposed to show is what you were found for. So like, you know, in that last screen where I was like the profile views, you know, it does say like, again, what people were, um, what I came up as, but the search appearances actually shows essentially how powerful my profile is for what certain things really important. Okay. So, um, again, I'm not going to go over like the stuff that's pretty simple, which is your company, your education, if you have any, all of that stuff. Um, but what is great to feature is, you know, your contact info. How do you want people to contact you? right? That's again, super important. Um, everything has to be up to date here. You can personalize your handle on LinkedIn. I've had this forever. So I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to personalize it again, but again, I should, right. I should have my full name up here. And then, um, what we're also going to go to is the, um, I put invest in yourself. This takes me to diversity, 
which is my L&D company. So again, you can choose whatever you want to take them to. It doesn't matter. Even if you wanted to do just like a little mini website, like if you're a business owner, of course you want it on your business. But what if you're not? What if you're just, you know, some badass recruiter and you want to get noticed a little more, or maybe you're selling something on Etsy or whatever it is, whatever you want to take people to. It could even be a video of yourself, which I think is super powerful. A video of yourself basically saying who you are as a recruiter, stating your recruiter voice, what you specialize in. Again, super powerful. Speaking of powerful video, when you're on your mobile, you can actually do a video of, that comes up right here. And it's about a 15 second video. Again, personalizing and showing people who you are. This is definitely a game changer because not a lot of people do this. Um, now, of course, you can show recruiters if you're open to work. People, if you are open to work, my advice, and again, this is just my opinion, take it as you want. I don't like the whole green open to work thing what you could do, because again, I think it smells, you're like, smells like a stinky cheese. People generally want what they can't have. So they're not going to want you to know that you're openly looking. Maybe they won't even try because they think you're interviewing absolutely anywhere and everywhere. So what you could do though, is you can put that you're open to work, but you're secretive about it. Okay. You can click on this and then you can decide who sees it. So right here, if you decide you only want recruiters to see this, this is massive. See this, this is all LinkedIn members, the green gross open to work thing. And this is another button, just people using LinkedIn recruiter. In my opinion, that's massive. You're like behind the scenes looking and no, your company cannot see that. LinkedIn has figured that out. Now, if you want to showcase your services, this is another excellent thing that I myself will be working on. Um, if like, let's just say you coach, um, you're a super strategic talent advisor, by the way, definitely that you should be going that direction. This is where you're going to continue and really state what you specialize in. You're going to say the about the location where you work remotely, your hourly rate, um, client request. If you want, you can have this open to anyone or just your own, you know, um, connections. Again, you're going to want it with everyone, but this is like your why, how you can help people. And it actually features you on a whole other page. I think this is a game changer. That looks awesome. Um, and again, it sets you up for success. Okay. So, um, this is just your activity. I don't think we have to really talk about this, but I will talk about the featured. If you have been in publications, if you've been noticed, which again, you can do that lots of different ways. Um, you can do it through Haro, through Turkle. There's all sorts of things, lots of different people that are writing articles, journalists, um, they want help. They want specialists. They want people with opinions. Um, so you're going to want to put that right here and you can have whatever you featured here. And then when people are on, that's what they see first and foremost. So you want to keep that up to date. Um, activity again, that's whatever, but you want to be active on LinkedIn because the more active you are on LinkedIn, LinkedIn essentially, essentially rewards you for that. Now your about section massive. I've seen really big ones. I've seen really small. It's not enough, but essentially, again, this is who you are, why you are, why someone should use you, why they should talk to you. Why are you an expert in this field? Now, LinkedIn talks about all the time. There is definitely buzzwords and right now buzzwords are getting a little overkill. So let's think outside the box. Essentially, if you're going to say, you know, I'm hardworking or I'm passionate, you're going to talk about what makes you that, you know, like, Hey, um, uh, let's see if I'm hardworking, my good work ethic, I have hit my KPIs every single month, even more so. And it just pushes me to, you know, push boundaries, keep fighting, keep putting up, um, bigger and bigger, you know, numbers, you could say that, right. And that shows that you're hardworking. So sometimes when you're just using those buzzwords, it's just like, Hey, I just Googled what the LinkedIn's top buzzwords are, you know, should you have those on there? Sure. But you can also really talk about how you're doing those things. Um, experience wise, again, I think this needs to be, I think the more meat you have, the better. Um, this could be like a little mini website again on what you guys do, I think is really important. Um, I'm just going to go all the way down here. Yes. Education. Yes. Licenses and certifications. But I will say that this is something else that LinkedIn really is trying to um, talk about is their LinkedIn learning. So you can demonstrate your skills. You can take little quick assessments right here that will actually strengthen your profile. Remember you have to play the games with what they're doing and how they want to feature you. And that's something that's a tool that they really want. Um, I definitely suggest again, doing a little video. 
that you can feature in your own little articles. Um, licenses and certifications, anything you have is fantastic. The more recommendations you have, the better. Therefore, the more that you give is even more powerful. You give, you will get, you need to pay it forward. Um, now, again, this is something publications that people don't use um, enough, myself included, but I just read an article that this is something that, again, LinkedIn is going to start featuring more because they want to promote people to have a voice. So I've written tons of things. All I have to do here, I don't have to put it in the featured, I just have to put it in my publications, okay? Pretty easy, right? And if I'm the author, even better. <laughs> or if you're not the author, you wanna give it credit to someone and you're just gonna put the URL where you um, added your thoughts. I'm doing that today. Honors and awards, that's awesome too. Um, I know a lot of people don't have that, but another great way to feature. Um, we talk about top voices that you're following. Again, this talks to your passion, the companies you follow, you're going to see their news feed come up groups. And, um, I talk about groups a lot. Remember every group that you're in, you can now message these members for free. I did a video on how to use LinkedIn for free and how it can be powerful. This is how it can be super, super, super powerful. Now, in order to get even a more powerful LinkedIn and to get more traction, what you're also going to do is you're going to ask your friends for help. So if you're going to write something, if you're going to come up with this, this great thing, you're also going to reach out to your friends and your families because they support you. You can have them reshare it in hopes that it will become viral and it will again be more and more and more powerful. Um, also, when you are done putting all of this together, it's really important that a few people that you trust, you can even put it in the YouTube below. If you want us to look at your profile quickly, you know, you can get some critical feedback that is really, really, really important. Um, and then the more you can engage, the better. So what you can also do to make your profile powerful is as you're, like, you can look to share different articles, but then you can also comment on different articles because that's where it's a little more powerful. Um, and then again, that's giving your LinkedIn even more of a look, which is really, really super important. Um, so have fun with this. Make your LinkedIn shiny. You are the authority. You need this to get featured. Um, so you're just going to have to really just stay on top of it. But this doesn't take that long. Okay. Um, doing all this stuff, it's the content that's going to take a little bit longer. But my recommendation there is that you're booking that in your calendar. You're doing it once a week. So it doesn't feel really heavy and it's just a part of your job. So um, have fun. Showcase yourself. You don't need to be super wordy. Think to yourself, how long is someone on my LinkedIn profile? What do I want to sell, essentially? And I know, yes, it's yourself, but what about your services? What about your skills? What about your hard skills and soft skills? Do you want to highlight and do you want people to know? It's almost like if you had to do a, an interview or you had to um, talk to a client to sell to sell yourself, but yet for some reason you couldn't talk to them and you just needed your LinkedIn to do the talking, could it do that for you? That's for you to know. All right. Have fun, y'all. I will see you every Thursday at noon. And you know, don't forget the money's just a vessel to do all the amazing things you want to go do in life. So go do it. See you next week.